Hello, it's Angie. Saturday morning here, um, quite early in the UK, it's about seven o'clock. Um, and I'm just coming on to show you this um, little bee themed sort of ephemeral wallet that I've made. Um, yeah, um, I just thought I'd come and show you. So um, it's made out of a um, single 12 by 12 double sided piece of paper and it's folded into different sections. So what I've done is I've just I've just closed it with this gorgeous piece of um, sari silk fabric. Um, I've not attached it as such. I've just um, wrapped it round. There's a little bee dangle there, a little bee charm. Just move him out of the way for a minute so we don't knock him. And that just comes off. A nice piece there. And actually the um, three tags have the same sort of sari silk on there as well. So it all matches in. Um, the ink that I've used throughout to ink all the edges with is this one, Wild Honey. And I actually think that makes a nice change of the Distress Ink from brown. Just gives that obviously more orange look, which I thought was great for the bees. So on the front, um, yeah got most of it in I think um, and I can't get it all in um, trying to hide that glare hold on see if that'll help so on the front I've got this um, sort of daisy and honeycomb piece that I've used as a tuck, as you can see, as a tuck there, and there's this little piece tucked in behind it. it says honey flower, and it's blank on the back there for writing on. This here, these these little um, pieces here, I bought from Caroline Cash Crafts, um, and it did have a pin in it, but I've actually put on the little be um, metallic charm so that that can be taken off if you want to um, what I am going to do I suppose I ought to say this first I am going to list this in my Etsy store but what I was going to do was leave it until after the weekend and then if anybody on here who watches my channel would like to buy it um, they can do um, it will be £7.50 which includes the shipping um, and then I say I'll leave it and then if nobody wants it I will put it up in my Etsy so where were we yeah so um, I've stitched around the edges in the black so over the top of this um, tuck piece here I've put some uh, a honeycomb that's in like a gold card it's got a little bit of embossing on there if you can see and then at the bottom there's a little bit of um, a bee ribbon um, very very pale pink sort of colour and I've put honeybee on the front word and then throughout I've used some of these stickers and as you can you can see it's like holographic so the the yellow flowers they're just like plain yellow flowers and then the leaves are holographic there behind and I've used some nouveau drops as I have on most of the pages they're orange on the front there um, then we flip up, I'm trying to hide that glary bit, there we go, we flip up to this page here, um, this was um, a plain um, sort of page, so what I did is I took this piece here and just made it into a small little pocket, um, I have used a little kit that I bought um, on Etsy, and the seller's name is, oh, I think it's Dinky Do, Dinky Do Crafts. Yeah, her name's Janet. I'll leave a link um, if I can to her Etsy. I'm not sure if she has this this one in stock at the moment, but I think I, I could be wrong that if you message her, she might be able to sort it out because um, you know she, I think she prints them off herself, so um, I think she can actually relist them if you if you do want them kind of thing 
So in this pocket, you've got a little kit piece, the honey cake. These are all plain. All the, the kit pieces are all plain on the back. Then we've got a little die cut of like a honeycomb. And I found these um, in some general ephemera pieces. And I thought, wow, well, they're perfect, aren't they? Because they just fit in really nicely. And then there's a cutout of a jar. Um, there's a few of these throughout the folder. And it's... Um, sort of cut, almost like collaged with different colour papers on the back. It's, it's obviously printed on, you know, it's ready printed. And there's some lines there if you want to um, write anything on it. So hope you're all keeping um, cool. Looks like it's going to be horrendous next week with this predicted heat wave. I like a, a bit of warmth. You know, I don't like it really cold, but don't like it too hot either so I can't remember if I said I've got Nouveau drops on here there's orange on these on the corners and then there's gold on the little pocket and I've inked over there a little bit as well then down to here I've got the little word fuzzy then we've got a tuck here I've put honey, farm fresh, tag, and it's plain, it's from the kit. And there's another one of those stickers there, the holographic. There you go. It's not looking very holographic, but it is. Oh, cover that up again. Oh, no, it's not my piece. Where's my piece of paper? There we go. Um, so we've got in this little flip we've got that honey farm fresh tag and then this was a little double fold over piece again that i found with those other two tickets and i've just um made it into a little scrappy notebook some coffee dyed paper scraps i just popped that in there then we've got a, a top this side again i've got gold um, nouveau drops on there and then in here, we've got a little um, vellum envelope and that's been um, inked with um, honeycomb design. Let's get these out carefully so I don't lose any. I have a habit of dropping things like this all over the floor just recently. There's a little flower in there. So we've got some die cuts in here we've got a B we've got a honeycomb another little B we've got a hive and we've got some tags in different um, B papers uh, sort of uh, pearlized embossed it's pretty paper these aren't from the kit these are just some that I sort of found around some like glittered on that one and some of these I've cut as well from a paper pad that I had from um, I think it was the works last year be happy flower some more tags that's pretty the pink almost like avocado dyed paper color that one and then we've got a nice embossed flower tag that i cut and then we've got a be happy put that in carefully so it doesn't get bent okay so on the front of that i've got um a sticker book um and it's birds bees and butterflies so i've used one of the bees and it was it was very very white like like there it just looked too white so i just just put a tiny little bit of ink over there so that's that's that in that pocket stitched around there so then we close that and then we open it over 
Then in this pocket, um, I've put two, I've put another one of those jars. Then they look lovely with the bees. I've got this lovely little pocket here again with the gold nouveau drops. Really nice image of the the bee, the honeycomb, the flowers, and the um, honey pots. Hope that's not too glary. Then in here I've put two. These are another two jar cutouts, and I've done it so that they stick out a little bit over the top, front and back. So flowers and flowers and again there the way they've been printed they've got the lines and as if they've they've all, they've all been like sort of coffee dyed and and whatnot then in this pocket here just move that over a little bit we've got three larger pieces we've got like a b identification chart we've got a floral piece with some nice script nice flowers there and the b at the bottom and then we've got quite a fun spelling bee. And that they're all plain white on the back. And they were just some, some sort of pieces I found, again, in my stash from various places. And I've just sort of put them all together, really. And they've, they've come together to make quite a nice kit, I think. Just pop those in there. Pop the jar back in then we move over to this side I've got a little word golden so we've got a flip let me just take that out so we've got a flip here little flippy side piece and then in here we've got I love this paper the background paper with the, the sunflowers Got another jar again with the like distressed looking background. Then these are from the kit that I got the B kit. And there's three little tags with a calabash pin. We've got the honey uh, honeycomb and the daisy. You can write anything on those in lines. Plain on the back. Then we've got that beautiful B on the the daisy. Again, it's plain. And then we've got the um, honey pot, the honey spoon and the, the bee there with flowers. I think they're gorgeous. So they go in there. And then, oh, then we've got like three like faux stamp type images of honey. Again, they're playing on reverse. And I've just tucked those in there. Got the orange um, nouveau drops on there, and the gold ones again on the on this page. So let me just carefully take these out. Oh, there was a little flower from that pocket as well. I just took that out so I didn't break it. There we go. And that, oh, I've made some flowers. They're all um, punched out and inked and they've got gems in the middle um so we've got this b on the flower this is from that kit as well it's plain on the reverse there's another one with um the honey pot and the spoon again just a bit of like a closer up image then there's this tag and that's got a bit of the um seam binding in to match and it's plain on reverse. We've got another one of those holographic stickers there. And I think I said, didn't I, the word golden. Then in this pocket here, we've got this envelope. Honey, honeycomb, you can write on there. It's beautiful paper on the back. And then we've got some pieces in here. Right, let me take these out because also in here, there's, there's a load of those flowers. And I, I don't want to get them out too much because with my hands I'll either break them or not be able to get them back in. So in there there's a load of the the handmade flowers. I'll just show you a couple. So they're all punched and um, out of different golds and browns and they've got like sparkly gems and things in the centre. So I say I won't get all of those out of there. 
So we've got another one of these that I got from, did I say? I got them from Caroline. I think I did. With the Galabash pin on. And we've got a little butterfly, just matches in the colours nicely. Honey Farm Fresh. These are all, again, plain on the reverse. These are all from the kit. Little tag. Natural Honey. And the bee. It's another one of the round coins. So that goes in there. To make sure everything's in properly, I'm just sort of putting it in somewhat neatly. And then at the back, I've got one of these type of pockets where let's just take these tags out. It's like just like an end pocket. Like that, just an open pocket. And I've got two larger tags, again, from that paper pad that I bought in the works. So I know the range. Um, I think it must have been last year. I think it was after, yeah, it was after all the restrictions would were, were lifted and we could go shopping again. So, yeah, it was last year, I think. Was that last year? Yeah, I've totally lost track of, like, time. <laughs> so this one it's that treated paper you know where it sort of glitters but it's got that treatment on it so it, it looks not wet but you know what I mean and it's like a it's the black and gold sort of honeycomb design try not to get the light on it. it's glaring a bit and then I've just backed that onto some um, coffee dyed paper and just ink the edges again and the same with this one it's supposed to be obviously like the gold and black stripes of the of the body again coffee dyed paper ink the edges and then they've got as i say the the um sari silk there do you know i can't even remember if i've said what i'm gonna do is i will list this up on my etsy but i'll leave it over the weekend and if anybody on here wants to buy it they can do um it will be £7.50 which will include all the shipping and everything and it'll all be obviously packaged nicely in that so um, yeah I'll leave it sort of over the weekend or so and then if nobody wants it to buy it I will list it up in my Etsy um, and then the back stitched around again I've got a Tim Holtz um, floral piece there to finish it off and then just two of those um, bee stickers from the, the, the bee uh, bee bird and butterfly book and again i've just put a little bit of ink over because it is a little bit bright in its white sort of form so we'll just pop that back in there and then the little bee can sit in there and that is it and ready to be tied up again so i say i'll leave all the details down below and any linkable links i will leave too um and thanks for watching enjoy the rest of your weekend and stay safe stay out of the sun if you can lots to drink don't get burnt speak to you soon bye